Okay, everybody, we are giving up way too much with our driver. Huge mistake we're all making and uh, we, we can easily fix it. So I'm gonna hit a shot here and then what you're gonna do is pick out the most glaring error of all the data, all right? So you tell me, you tell me what that is. Okay, so look at the numbers here. What jumps out to you as the hugest error in here? Uh, my club path is pretty good, so that's not it. Face angle, face is a little shut, but that's totally doable. Face to path ratio, it's a little draw, not a problem. Spin rate, it's a little high, but it's not horrible. Uh, what is it? it? The ball went low, yeah, okay. Ball speed's great, smash factor is awesome. So really, there, there's really only one thing left. My attack angle, negative 2.1. So that's the number one thing we're doing wrong with our driver is we're hitting down on the golf ball. And what that, you can hit good shots. I just hit a 260 carry, 291 total. But how much better could it be if we fixed just the attack angle? No swing thoughts, nothing other than I wanna change my attack angle. So I was just hitting down two degrees, what happens when I hit up a few degrees? What happens to my ball? Now, my attack angle's the opposite direction. It's up 3.1. Great smash factor. This one went total 300 yards. Look at my spin rate, way down. Little bit more carry, a lot more roll, a lot less spin. A lot of good things are happening all because I went from hitting down on the ball to up on the ball. So how do we do that the simple, easy way without getting technical? Because once we get technical and we start trying to manipulate the club, we're gonna be a disaster and uh, it's just gonna get ugly. So the, we just have to look at a few things and you're gonna be totally fine. And then I'm gonna add just a little drill to really refine and hone in so that you can nail it every time. So first things first is look at your hand position. You know, some of us try to copy Rory. He's a little more here, but he's doing other things to make sure he's hitting up on the ball. So most of us just put our hands forward and that promotes us kind of doing the chop down method on that ball, which also causes us to come over the top. So we want to avoid that. So first things first, just check your hand position. Try to get it. I like it right down the center. Now, if you keep it down the center, that's um, going to be better because you're going to have more time to let that club transition and start coming up on the ball. So, but that leads us to tip number two. So you gotta check hand position, because if you just put your hand position back, you're gonna have a tendency to have that right shoulder too high. So these go hand in hand is hands come back. If you are in the center, you must get a little shoulder tilt, little spine angle tilt right here. So if you have your hands forward, you usually have this, but then, you do that. So we want to back that up and then just add just this little tilt. Everybody says how much and there's no like, uh, again, we don't want to get in the weeds here. I say one notch like on the dial right there. Boom. There you go. Just you feel it. You feel it kind of click in and you're good to go. And that's going to just get you in a much better position. You're right there. Perfect setup. You're good to go. Hands feel in the middle, tilt it down and you're going to hit up on that ball. And what, what will happen is you'll start drawing the golf ball. The next thing would be your ball position. And you're gonna have to play around with ball position. So some people, a lot of people are getting that too far back. You're gonna be hitting down on that ball. If you have dance on the top of your driver, it's probably because the first two things are off and your ball position is too far back in your stance. Play around with it. There's no perfect position for everybody. It's gonna vary. I like to do a little thing where I move it way up here, even though I have my hands back here, and I'm trying to reach out and get to it. That's a fantastic drill. Just set up back here and try to hit that ball up there. You're not gonna hit good shots, but it's gonna force a lot of good things to happen in your golf swing. I like to go left ear, ball position, because my ear doesn't move, my feet do move. So if I'm inside of my left foot and I have a narrow stance, well now the ball's too far back. 
So, and if I'm way wide, a lot of wind or whatever, now it's too far forward. So I stick with my left ear is a guideline. And I do like it a little more forward than that, but that's a guideline for me. And that's kind of where I like to, to begin. And then I play around from that point moving on. Okay, one more key, and then we're gonna give you a drill to really be able to know you're doing it and force yourself to do it every single time. It's gonna be your grip. Now I did a video on the grip, so if you wanna see that, uh, click right over here for that. Click, go to like the middle of that video where I just talk about receiving the golf club as opposed to grabbing it. It's about halfway through the video. So you kind of start there, you'll be fine. But um, you want that hand more under, not so much here, but under in the fingers, receive it, don't grip it, okay? So if you're, if you're getting this right shoulder too high in there, it's because of how you grab the driver. You wanna grab it, you wanna receive it like you're holding it here in your fingertips. So that's gonna be key. If you're gripping it like this, you're going to be hitting down on the ball more often than not. So I come here, just receive that grip from under, really light in the fingertips, you're good to go, watch that grip video. And now with everything else, you should be hitting up on the ball. And my attack angle's four degrees there. And you will start drawing the ball, which is great. So once you get those down, then it's time to add the drill piece into the equation so that you can really hammer everything home and know, know you're doing it. You might not have a track man or something. If you don't, link below for blast motion. It's a little thing you put on the butt end of your club. It tells you your attack angle, whether you're too steep or too upright, it will let you know. They work great. It's not a promotional video for them, but the most of, it's the most affordable thing to get your attack angle and it's incredibly accurate. So that, that helps. But if you don't have that, you don't have anything, do this. Get your club head cover, just put it out in front here, okay? You know, I'm a, a foot, 18 inches in front of the ball. But if I'm hitting down, um, I'm probably gonna hit that club head cover if I'm hitting down on the ball, like that. You see what I'm saying? We don't want that. This will force you to come in here and hit up and it's exact, remember, this is exaggeration, so you're probably gonna overdo it here and not hit the greatest of shots, but it's just a visual aid, something to help you be able to do it, to force you to do it, is, is what we want. Like so, nice straight shots, you're gonna love it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Keep crushing it, love you guys. See you next video.